Hello everyone, welcome to the Science Stuff. Today, we are going to be learning about the impact of water in seed germination. Hope you have fun learning. First, let's look at the materials. So for this experiment, I will be using some water, two plastic cups in one container, some green gram seeds and two pieces of cloth. You can also use cotton. In the first bowl, I am going to be putting the cloth and adding some seeds, but I am not going to be adding some water. In the second bowl, I am going to be adding the cloth and the seeds and I am going to be adding a little bit of water to make sure that the seeds are not completely immersed. As you can see here, the cloth absorbs the water, not leaving the seeds completely wet and immersed. In the third container, I am going to be putting the green gram seeds and completely immersing them in water. I then placed all the three containers in the same environment where they all received the same amounts of temperature. Then I left the bowls there for four days. I also added water to the second bowl whenever necessary. So now let's look at the observation in four days. the first container, I noticed that there was zero growth and no radical was coming out and the seeds stayed in their original size. In the second container, I noticed that the seed coat had started to fall off and the radical had also grown and the seeds had also swollen up. In the third container, where the seeds were completely immersed in water, I noticed that the seed coat was starting to come off and the seeds had swollen as you can see it compared to the original size of the seed. But I noticed radical growth in only one or two seeds and even if it was present it was very very less. And in many of the seeds the seed coat had started to completely come off. Now let's look at the conclusions of this experiment. When the seeds didn't have any water present, no seed germination occurred. Hence, water is required for seed germination. When the seeds were completely immersed in water, the seeds bloated up and the seed coat fell off, but complete and proper germination didn't occur. Hence, we can conclude that water is not the only source required for germination. Some air is required too. Also, correct amount of water is needed and overwatering is not good. When the seeds had both water and air in correct amounts, perfect germination occurred. Hence, both water and air is required in correct amounts for proper seed germination to occur. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe if you've learned something new and comment down below on the topic you would like me to do next. And you're watching The Science Stuff.